Hello, my beautiful friends, Janet here. I am on the way to garden center number two to give you a little garden center tour. I am hurting a bit today because I haven't eaten in three days. I'm fasting and I don't know if I'm dehydrated because of the heat, it's been like 97, or if it's that I just have not had enough water. Well, that would be the dehydration, but like, if it's dehydration or if it's all the chemicals and toxins being released in my brain that are giving me a headache, but I have a massive headache. I'm not hungry because I'm fat adapted and I am used to fasting. So I'm really not hungry by day three, but I don't always get a headache, but this time I did. So I'm thinking it's the heat and the hydration. So uh, let's see how quickly I can do this. So I'm not out in the heat and I need to drink a lot of water. So I got my my big Pellegrino in the car. All right, we are heading to Gethsemane, which is probably my all-time favorite garden center in the Chicago area. It's in Chicago, and we are heading there now, so let's go. I have arrived at Gethsemane. Found out they close earlier than they should, and we have to go fast. So this might be a quick tour. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm over here, right over here, where my other coworkers are. Um, this is our really well-known pro section. This is one of my favorite sections. <laughs> mm, that one's really pretty. And the rose experts here are like super helpful. And I think they have more lurking at their other location that they can pull out for you. This is the main perennial area. This is the shade section, actually. One of the things I like here is how nicely everything is arranged so beautifully and easy to find things. Those are the lilies the rabbits ate at my house. They have a huge fountain and sculpture department and you can even special order anything you want, sculpture or fountain wise or even planters, urns, that kind of thing. These are kind of cool. These are new this year. I've not seen these. I like that. These are really pretty. Just hear all the fountains going. Ooh, I like those. Those are kind of like a, a take on a cattle pallet cattle panel fencing arch. Look at those. This might work actually where I'm trying to arch my hedge. I like these because they're like all rusted and cool looking.
stuff here and just beautiful. So the tropical plants, we're actually in a greenhouse right now. It's very hot. So it goes all the way back, just tons of house plants, huge ones. We haven't even hit the gift shop yet. Oh, look at this banana plant. Sorry for the noise. selection of clay pots and they come in multiple colors. Currently I like sporting these and I have a few of these. But again, unique sizes that you just don't find like at Home Depot. Like in these bright colors. Ooh. More pots. Everything is styled so nice here. sort of the gift and home goods section and they just really curate a nice selection of things and beautiful things like look a vintage puzzle like really come on that'd be really cute in the cottage though plaques with flower names oh i think i'd have to get this one what do you think for rose cottage if you need a little more cowbell here you go. And my favorite, the French linens. Ah. Quite the selection. Some kitchenware. Some touristy Chicago stuff. Cute for the Airbnb. Black and white section. These are really cute. Oh, a little chipmunk. It's darling. I love that. Oh, 165. Handmade. These are so cute out in the garden. Oh, I'd have to just get a bee mug. Spiced mug mat. People think of everything. I love how creative all the souls are on the planet. Ooh, and I like these horns. Some artwork. Entering the blue zone. Very nautical. For lake life. Jewelry. I like this little nook with all the soaps and lotions and stuff. But of course, beautiful ones. More French linens. They have a really good selection of French linens. How pretty that is. I'm liking these new placemats that they're carrying this year. I have to go look at those again. Okay, my favorite section. The herbs, lavender, and other cool stuff. So I love the way they pot the lavender here, coming from the wrong direction with the sun. I don't know if that's oregano. Yeah, 
that's oregano, sage, and then the lavender. This is and some thyme. That's usually what I have on my back porch, but I didn't have time this year to come here sooner. I just love their pre-potted lavender and the prices are not bad based on what you're getting. Look, look at this rosemary. Ugh, smells so good. Parsley. More lavender. It's a pretty planter. A huge lavender in the back. This is their whole section of herbs and vegetables. Well, that was a bit of a bust. I got kicked out because they closed. I didn't get to buy anything. And there were a few things I kind of had my eye on and I especially needed to get two pots that I have plants in a temporary pot that's too small until I made it here to get my pot. So I'm really bummed I didn't get my pots. There were a few other things I thought were cool in the French linen section, a new um, manufacturer it looks like that they carry, uh, some really cute placemats and I wanted to see if they made matching towels. Anyway, I always love getting French linen towels and I'm a placemat gal so I was hoping to find something like that and get my pots and I really was not overly impressed with the lavender or rosemary maybe because I'm late in the season and all the cute stuff is gone but the small lavender that looked healthy, it was so expensive and I could get it at Home Depot. So I wouldn't have gotten that anyway. And what I really did like was some of those sculptural cactus and uh, succulents and some of those really brightly colored pots. So definitely cute stuff here. Definitely can find stuff you like. If you're still doing your planting, great place to come. And if you wanna get some inspiration on really cute planters that are done, uh, you'll definitely get some good ideas here. So this is my probably favorite garden center in Chicago and uh, I love coming here whether I buy something or not. So hopefully next time I can pick up a few cute things and until then, ciao for now. Okay, I'm at Home Depot now. Let's see if they have any lavender. See it down there? That's where I used to go before this diet. I'm fasting so like everything sounds good right now. Well, I got the air conditioner and I got plants and I got the pots. Those are going to go in my foyer and my bathroom. And that I was craving a caprese salad. I just want tomato and basil. Can you tell I'm hungry? This smells so good. Can't wait to eat some of it. And this concludes my Home Depot trip. And now I must go in and install an air conditioner and repot these and put them around and see if my pots fit. Ciao for now.